Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the second problem of lead code by weekly contest 89. It's a medium level problem and I would say relatively um, easier to code as compared to the first problem of the very same contest. Uh, so yeah, the problem name is range product queries of powers. Um, so the problem statement says that given a positive integer n, there exists a zero indexed array called powers composed of the minimum number of powers of two that sum up to n. If, if the problem statement is a little bit complex, don't worry, I'll explain it diagrammatically, right? So, and the array is sorted in non-decreasing order and there is only one way to form the array, right? Um, you are also given a zero index 2D integer array queries where queries of i equals to left of i, comma right of i. Now, each queries of i represent a query where you have to find the product of all powers of j such that j lies between left and right, right? Return an array answers uh, equal in length to queries where answers of i equals is the, is the answer to the ith query. Now, since the answer uh, to the ith query may be quite large, you need to basically take um, the modulo, uh, you, you need to take the modulo for that answer by 10 raised to power 9 plus 7, right? Uh, let me just explain you what the problem is saying. So, problem says you are given an integer n, right? Like for example, the first test case, you are given 15. So it says that this number can be represented in powers of two, right? So any number is basically represented in powers of two, right? You, you, what is the binary representation of 15? It is one, 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 one. So, or else it can be written as one into two raised to the power. If, if I start from this side, one into two raised to power zero plus one into two raised to power one plus one into two raised to power two plus one into two raised to power 3 right just a second yeah this does happen to me uh, yeah right so obviously every number can be represented like this so um, if i just erase it just a second yeah if i just erase it or in other way it can be written as 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and it is 15 any number if you take 6 so 6 can be written as 1, 1, 0 or it can be written as 4 plus 2, right? Powers of 2, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2. So it says that you represent this number in powers of 2 and you form an array of those numbers. So the array will be something like this. It will be starting from the smaller values. Like if 8, 4, 2 and 1 are there, so the array will be 1, 2, 4 and 8. For this case, the array will be 2 and 4, right? You form an array like this and so this is what the first part says the second part says that you are given certain queries you are given certain queries and queries of i basically represent it it gives two indices left of i and right of i so these are two indices all you need to do from this array you need to find the product of the numbers all the numbers which are between including left and i including left uh, these indexes left of i so if, if this index is i so i i plus one dot 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 till j if this is j you need to find the product of all these numbers and which are present in this array right so like for example if i talk about this array so if my left and right are uh, zero to two so that means i need to find the product of number present at index number zero index number one index number two so that will be one at zero it is one at 2 it is 2 and at this index it is 4 so that comes out to be 8 right simple and since the answer can be pretty large you just take mod with 10 to the power 9 plus 7 that's what the problem is saying so for for given queries you need to return an answer array of the same length of queries of i right so it's an implementation based question nothing much nothing nothing fancy all you need to do is for the given number n generate the array generate the array uh, so for for any number you generate the numbers and then you run a loop for all the queries that are given for every queries just traverse the this array just traverse this array what are the indices given and just compute the answer and save it into your answer array right uh, again since the numbers vary from so the given number can be 10 to the power 9 so obviously it can be represented in using 31 or 32 bits right so that means the array size here will will um, at most be 31 or 32 right because it depends on the number of bits right so uh, it will be like this 
so even for every query you'll have to traverse the whole array also then also it will be if you have total m number of queries so it will be big o of 32 m right or big o of m only right so this is the uh, time complexity for this one again if you consider the size of this to be for example w so it will be big o of w m however this w is small so that is why i was saying so overall it will uh, it will not give you tle and uh, yeah will be well within the time frame so just a second yeah, let me just fetch the solution yeah so this is my solution uh, i would say pretty easy from the first problem that we solved recently um, so what i have done you can see um, i have instantiated a, an answer array on line number 5 and on line number 6 i have a powers um, array list now what i'll be doing i'll be adding all the powers of uh, the number n that i have been given right so what i'll do on line number 9 you can see what i have done while temp is greater than 0 right i can take n as well i don't know why i have i have taken this i thought that maybe the value of n will be used afterwards so basically i am traversing each and every bit of the given number now if that bit is not equal to 0 that means that power of 2 is included in my number in the binary representation so you add powers dot add 2 now again i am multiplying at every step i am multiplying it by 2 that means you start from 1 because the first bit has a weightage of 1 then the second bit has a weightage of 2 then 4 then 8 so that is what i am doing and i am dividing the number by 2 so from line number 9 to line number 15 uh, i get finally when the loop is over i get my powers array list line number 16 i start for each and every query my answer starts from 1 and i i see what is my start index what is my end index on line number 18 and 19 and as i told you i'll be traversing my array the powers array list and my current answer will be uh, uh, you just multiply the current answer by the jth power uh, that you have in your array list and you just keep on taking the mod and after your loop is over for the current query you on line number 23 i have done answer of i equals to current answer finally after you have computed all the m queries what do you do you return the answer and then we are done right so yeah that's it for this problem uh, also uh, uh, also one more thing you can see the accuracy of the solution is pretty less like the number of wrong solutions are pretty more so the main reason of that is on line number 21 you just see one thing to notice here is that there can be cases when you are multiplying current answer by the current power it can overflow because your data type is integer so temporarily what do you need to do you need to convert it you need to type cast it to long that is what i have done here i have type casted my current answer into long and i am multiplying multiply it by current power again by type casting that into long then finally i take a mod i take the mod and whatever i get will obviously be less than the uh, mod value because i'm taking i'm taking a mod with a particular value right so the remainder will always be less and that will fit into the integer data type so that is uh, again type cast uh, casted into integer so this is uh, one thing to notice otherwise uh, uh, you will be getting the wrong answer as i can see the accuracy is pretty less so yeah this is one point to note in this problem so i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any queries i'll be more than happy to help you if you if you uh, mention that into the comments uh, also do let me know in case your solution was different uh, than mine so yeah take care bye bye